the Hyde Novices Hurdle is next. There's a two mile five furlong Novice Hurdle. There's a trial for the Bear in Bingham and theoretically speaking at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Uh, it's won three times already this season. He's unbeaten. Vidma, Paul, Darren Thompson, Movie Lights, David Hooley, Bomb Theory, Leon Van Rensburg, Diamond Star, Graham Clutterbuck, Southern Optimist, Craig Beckwith, Ipanema Plod, Alex Cherry, Petroglyph Raven, Padraig Hogan, and Zena Francis for David Robertson. A field of nine. And away we go. Two grows in this. As they make their way towards the first flight. And Ipanema Plod for Alex Cherry has gone into a reluctant lead, I would suggest. It seems all that keen to go on. And the jockey's taking a keen hold of their charges as they head towards the first of 11. And over it they all go. They all jumped it okay. Vidma Paul, one of the two greys, is the back marker for Darren Thompson in the purple and white sleeves. The other grey is Grand Clutterbuck. Diamond Star is now moving through into fourth. But it looks like Ipanema Plod is going to have to take them along. And taking them along and a bit of a plod as well. We're going all that quickly. So an optimist is back in second on the wide outside as they take the second. And Graham Clutterbox Diamond Star oh, didn't jump that one all that well. And Ipanema Plod is now three clear. The jockey, I think, has accepted the fact that he's going to have to be the one that cuts out the running. Theoretically speaking, has moved through into second. Then Petroglyph Raven is next, with Movie Lights and Diamond Star. As they get over the third, as they're all safely have a bit of a slow jump at the back there by Southern Optimist. And the name of Plot is in front. At the fourth, as they all get over nicely. Ipanema Plot is the leader. Theoretically speaking, his second, the grey diamond star has moved back up into third again as they start to swing into the straight. The purple jacket in movie lights is fourth, wide on the track. Zena Francis is fifth, on that one's inside Bomb Theory in the dark blue. The second grey is Vidma Paul. And the two that are out of shot at the moment, you can just about see the nose of Petrodiff Raven poking in as they take the fifth. And the back marker is Southern Optimist, and they race up the hill then past the stand, past the winning post. And head out front of the circuit. Uh, commentator reminded himself that there's a short, that like really short running after the final flight. Ipanema Plot will be hoping to still be in the lead. Jumping that final flight currently leads by two and a half, I'd say, to theoretically speaking, the unbeaten. Joshua Sutherland charge in second, then come the two greys, Diamond Star and Vidma Paul with on Vidma Paul's outside movie lights. Then Bomb Theory sat quietly in the middle of the pack as they get over the sixth, which they're all over okay, all in shot as well now. And probably no more than a dozen lengths first to last. And it's Ipanema Plot. Continuing to lead. Theoretically speaking, second, Diamond Star is in third. Now Bomb Theory moves into fourth. This time that one's made a significant move. Inside the final mile there, and they get to the seventh. Uh, all safely over that one, with Ipanema Plot in front. Theoretically speaking, second, that order's not changed at all. Zena Francis has now moved into third, with movie lights on the rail fourth between the two of them. Bomb Theory in the blue, the yellow jacket of Petroglyph Raven is now closest to us from this angle. The one that's made significant progress is Southern Optimist. The two greys have now dropped to the back as they get over that one. And the leader forgot to jump and has basically almost tripped up, but has now been overtaken by Movie Lights and theoretically speaking. Trying to get back into it on the inside, Ipanema Plot. This Southern Optimist is the one who's travelling nicely. Zena Francis also looks to be going well. One or two being scrubbed along then as they make their way down towards the final four furlongs. And it's just about movie lights in the lead. Ipanema Plot trying to find his way back into the lead. Southern Optimist absolutely cruising on the outside. Also, theoretically speaking, hasn't made a move on that one yet as they get over a third last. And it's Southern Optimist who might have 
just to poke his head in front there. The grey Vidma Paul Quinn round the outside. This is going to be a bit of a thriller. They've got two to take. And remember, there's a really short run into the jump at the last flight. Will probably be crucial. It's Southern Optimist, who's about a head in front over that second last they go. Now Petrogriff Raymond and Zena Francis come into it as well. There's a match six in the line here. As they come down towards the final flight. It's Southern Optimist, who's probably just in the lead from Movie Lights on the inside. Theoretically speaking, trying to keep that unbeaten record. Vidma Paul closest to us. Petrogriff Raymond and Zena Francis. They're all still in with chances. They come to the final flight. But it's Movie Lights who's in the lead. Lands in front. Petrogriff Raven, Vidma Paul. Theoretically speaking, trying to close. But I think it's going to be Movie Lights. Petrogriff Raven, though, he's putting his head down. And Petrogriff Raven and Movie Lights flash past the post together. Vidma Paul wasn't out of it either. Theoretically speaking, he's lost his unbeaten record. But has still won well. And that is close. And I think it's David Hooley again. He likes these short runnings. And... Movie Lights has taken it for David Hooley. Petrogliff Raven for Padre Hogan was second. Theoretically speaking, was third for Joshua Sutherland. Vidma Paul for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Zena Francis for David Robertson was fifth. There were about six in line jumping that final flight. Still an optimist. Ended up only seventh, but ran a great race. And a long time leader, Ipanema Plod, ended up a distance behind the rest of them. So they really must have kicked on over those last couple of floods.